So like I said in Backyard Hells video that I just uploaded a few minutes ago, um, I got another new one that I'm doing today. This is kind of a fun yard. Let me show you this. It's a little bit of a pie shape. So it, it kind of goes back. You see the property line goes to the, to the sticks right there. So it's a little bit of a pie shape. And what I really like about this yard is it's got all these cool little flower beds that go all the way around. I like, I like that builders are doing this right now because it keeps us away from their house, keeps us away from their vinyl. So with this, you can edge it with the weed eater uh, or you can edge it with your edger blade. I like to use the edger blade because it kills any or cuts any runners that might be going underneath. Um, but then don't be afraid to touch it up with your weed eater as well to give it a really nice clean look. We're gonna cut at three inches today um, because this is a little bit more established than that last new yard that we did. So three inches will probably be good. You know what? I'm gonna do two and a half. I'm going to do two and a half because this still has a lot of this straw up high and the grass is down low. And if I don't give it a good, a nice good haircut, then the grass isn't really getting cut and the straw is going to be hairs. So the fence over there will go up, we'll edge it back and then we'll go back up. Got a little garden over there and the property line comes back here. Uh, so I'll probably, I'll go back in here with my mower real fast and just knock it down just so it's not pure crap. Um, this neighborhood, I carted a little while ago. My house is right back there on the other side of the creek. So this is a newer development um, that I watched being built as I was bringing roll-off cans in and out of here for the contractors, the construction guys. Um, so I carted this neighborhood probably a couple months ago and he's had my business card magnet on his refrigerator ever since, so kind of neat. Um, there's quite a bit of weeds that are starting to grow up in his beds, so we're going to knock them down. And we're not sure if we're going to be coming back or not. He hasn't made up his mind. It's not like a, if I do a good job or not. It's just they haven't decided yet if they're going to purchase a mower, but they need, they need the yard done. So here's the back here, and you see the fence. So we'll edge that up to make sure that we don't ruin a good fence. Uh, brand new fence, you know what I mean? So... And we'll edge up all these beds here all the way around. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to edge. Then we're going to weed eat, get everything cleaned up real nice. And then we'll come back and we'll mow and clean it all up with the mower all around here and everything. We'll get that all nice.
something I didn't mention to you guys. About two weeks ago, I accidentally put 89 octane regular fuel uh, in my mix tank um, <clears throat> instead of ethanol free. So my all my two cycle, all my two cycle machines are running with that ethanol gas, um, and it sucks. By habit, I grabbed 89 octane because that's what I put in my pickup truck, and I, I filled the uh, I filled the can two and a half gallons of mix um, and it had like maybe a gallon or maybe a gallon and a half of mixed with ethanol free gas so it's a bit of a mixture but if you notice a little bit of sluggish um, pickup a little a little bit slower than normal not just me I need some fiber but that's not important the machines are a little bit tired they don't like that octane that 89 octane with um, ethanol it does make a big difference and um, if you're experienced with using the two fuels you'll know right away when ethanol fuel is in your machines yeah they still work um, but it's a big difference for pep um, just throttle response and stuff like that so just kind of struggling through it trying to get through it um, we'll be fueling up we'll be getting some marine gas ethanol free gas pretty soon people ask me where do you get ethanol free gas from man around here you can get it at Kroger the grocery store Kroger you can get it at Parker's there's some mom and pop stores around here that have ethanol free gas they also call it marine gas so just do a search in your area whatever search engine you use you use uh, for ethanol free gas near me and see what see what you find all right they also make ethanol blockers that you can buy over the counter Excuse me, some people use Staybill and stuff like that, S-T-A-B-I-L. I just buy ethanol free. All right, cool, let's work. Coming back with the weed eater and edging like that gives it a really clean look. Using the edger blade cuts the runners. 
So you got a nice clean separation between the grass and the straw. And any runners that were growing, you cut them. Nut sedge. Terrible. Don't chop these up. Throw these in a garbage can. If you're lucky enough to pull it and get all the root, throw it in a garbage can. Get it off the property. Because what nut sedge is going nut sedge is going to do. That nut is going to make its way down into the ground, and then it's going to wait for the perfect climate, the perfect temperature, the perfect soil conditions, and then boom, it's going to go like crazy. And it'll, man, that'll take over your yard. So if you can get nut sedge out of your yard by hand, get it out. Anywhere you see it, get it out. Neighbor's pets, definitely need to be careful.
I like weed eating new yards like this and putting my footprint on it first um, before anybody else has a chance to screw it up. I'll set the standard. Even if he doesn't have me back, he now sees what to do, how to make maintain his yard. I'm gonna blow it in so I do a really nice cleanup. I'll be back with the mower.
got to go slow when you're dealing with new sods so you're not bouncing all over the place. Really dialed this yard in. It took me about almost an hour and a half, almost. But I, you know, I mean, I spent a lot of time with the camera though, too. You know, moving the camera around and stuff. But uh, that looks really good. Nice, clean property line right down the fence. No damage to the fence. Beds are nice and clean. Let's go get another view of the backyard real quick. Uh, different little angle. I'm kind of in a rush. My kids want lasagna tonight, so no, I'm not making it. <laughs> Uh, it's going to be like Stouffer's Meat Lover's Lasagna, frozen from Kroger. All right, let's take a look back here. So, we did have a lot of weeds in here. We knocked them down, edged the bed up real nice, gave them real good separation. Property line all the way to the, to the back there, nice and clean. Her garden's nice. She's got some spinach growing. They're going to do the whole thing all the way around. It's going to be a nice little garden. Um... Again, the beds are cut really nice, nice and clean. Weeds are chopped down. Now it's gonna be up to them. If they're a lawn service client, then the weeds will get sprayed. Um, if they're not a lawn service client, then he can pay me to spray weeds. And my suggestion would be to come back on Saturday. And um, on Saturday, today's Wednesday, so if on Saturday, some of the weeds will start, start picking back up, and it would be great for them to spray them at that point. What a good non-select herbicide. Uh, but the fence is good. No damage to the fence. I showed you guys how to do it. So in time, 
that'll be, give you a nice little cut there and you won't have the grass growing all up between the shadow box um, but that takes time it takes effort it takes time so oh, let's get a maybe another angle here make sure we look good nice and quick got them nice cleaned up nice and easy I love that mower that mower I tell you what man it's it's such a pleasure to just take my time and walk behind that thing it's amazing it does such a fantastic job getting things figured out with the uh, shoe blocker door um, so I'll link to that video up here on uh, that shoe blocker how to install it so if you're new to my channel and you saw me opening and closing that side shoot door right here with the pedal right there that's a nice little uh, nice little video for you but there you go that looks really nice and like I said I live right there in those houses right there so right behind there anyways in that neighborhood that's my hood all right guys I'll see you guys on the next one